What's up everyone? It's time for episode four, first gym time. And I did go ahead and finish training and I found out some interesting stuff while I was training. So for one, uh, everyone's level 10, um, actually to be fair, um, Elekid and uh, Beedrill are actually level 11, but that doesn't matter. So um, the ability water compaction um, actually works like water absorb and you don't get hit by the move. So it just boosts your defense. Actually, that made training way easier, and I didn't realize that. So that's a really cool thing. Also, um, on the beach, it actually turned out that not every one of the sand castles had a sandy ghast. So it wasn't oversaturated, so I'm actually pretty okay taking the one I did. <clears throat> but the one other I did find happened to give me a spell tag whenever I fainted it. So now, I have a sp now I've got a spell tag to power up our Astonish. So we have Absorb, Astonish, Sand Tomb, and Harden on him. We do have the Black Belt for Elekid, but actually, which I found a few more Black Belts and Hard Stones thanks to training. So I also found out those sell for a thousand each versus a hundred in normal games. But we have Ember, Locate, Quick Attack, and Leer, and we have the Aftermath ability. I did not know that until just now. And we got Pinhead or Beedrill, our last remaining. Like he was, he was holding down everything. He's got Swarm, and got Poison Sting. We learned Fury Attack at level 11, Harden, and String Shot. I'm gonna lead Fisher because uh, thanks to Fisher's uh, typing and ability, he is immune to three typings, which you can't say that about many mods at all. Actually, sorry, no, my bad. Four, Normal, Fighting. Electric and water. Uh, I'm going to talk to this guy. Welcome to the Heart Heart Hot uh, Hadworth City Gym, young trainer. What? You want to know who I am and why? All you have to know is that I'm cheering for you. Basil, the gym leader, specializes in grass type Pokemon. Could you tell? Uh, try to turn them to ash with burning passion of fire types. Okay, so maybe I'm not using, uh, Sandy Gast. Um, I'd like Beedrill to learn a bug type move. That'd be pretty cool. I'll try to use the poison aspect here. Also, there's just grass type moves. Um, so there's just like a bunch of little hovels. Oh. Um, so you can get an encounter here, apparently. I... I would say inside a gym is a different area. But also I don't have a inside the city encounter yet either, and I don't think there's like water here. But there actually might be water here. But, eh. This is probably gonna be the city encounter, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take it if I can. Oh, I can. Sweet. That's a pretty cool thing. Might be adding a new team member right now. I mean, I'm not... Okay, in, in, in case anyone's worried, I'm not going to stop and train them right now. Like, that seems a little bit ridiculous. Right after I have had basically two training episodes in a row, I think I think that's a little... I'm, I'm getting to be too much training. Like, I, I need, like, game progression and story. That's a huge reason I'm playing the game at all. It's because I want story. All right. I still want to look at those achievements. I haven't done that yet. All right, we know about Onish. It's a weed Pokemon during the day. It stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. Uh, it grows by bathing in moonlight. Very, very interesting. Nope, we're not doing Z's today. Um, what do I call you? I'm gonna, mm, mm, mm. yeah, I'm still calling you that. I'm gonna call you Lily. I think Lily could be a boy's name. I could imagine a boy named Lily. I don't see any problem there. Alright, Lily. Got chlorophyll. Pretty standard, like, grass type moveset. I guess I probably should have looked at this. That probably seemed important. Uh, okay, so I assume I understand that. That the one on the left is the correct one.
Oh, you just go into it, okay. Practice makes perfect! <clears throat> nice. Oh, it's a hippie. And I'm fighting another Oddish, but this one's a little bit higher leveled. Um. I'm not doing a lot to these Oddishes, and that, like, doesn't bode well in, like, in my stomach. Like, makes me a little nervous. I'm holding my shoulder again. I talked about this in the last episode, how, like, apparently, like, whenever I do get nervous, I want to, like, hold my shoulder. I don't know where that comes from, but it's a thing. And look at that, Beedrill for the win. Let's go. So, this, I think this video actually finishes our first week of the project. And I feel like I've done absolutely nothing. More lol. Okay, so it's berry and grass. I feel like Beedrill should be able to take on a more lol pretty easily. That should, cause like, isn't poison like, yeah, poison's quad, that's what I thought. I was thinking like, isn't poison super effective on fairy? It's like, no, no, doesn't it work the other way around? I know steel was. But I don't know. I was spacing out on poison. That moral lol was actually worth a decent amount of experience. Kinda of surprised. Alright, next one. Okay, I just phased through it. Uh Okay. Oh look a Trevenant. Well, I couldn't I couldn't read the other one so whatever it's fine but I get I get I get what it what it uh how the gym works I totally forgot to add that oddish on the um, team so hopefully I added it earlier but if I didn't I just added it so whoopsie. it seems like that Oddish is gonna catch up pretty fast anyways I'm also kind of remembering that a lot of grass types are also poison types, so Beedrill is not the best thing in the world for it. It'd be better if it had Twin Needle, but I can't poison them anyways if they're poison types, so like, sucks. I hope Beedrill has like its, uh, I guess Gen 7 moveset by this lo the logic of this game, because it has more lol in it. Okay, let me see if I can actually, like, read this thing this time. This is being really weird. I can't seem to, like, actually click on it. It's like, I'm mashing really hard to get to it. Yeah, it's just, like, not letting me see what the clue is. Is it only Oddish in here? Like, I'm not mad, it's kind of like the Sandy Gas, like, I think Oddish is a pretty good Mon overall. Oh, there we go, you gotta go into it. Alright, there can't be that many Pokemon that they're gonna keep throwing that are also Poison types, right? Yeah, there we go, Phantom. I mean, Grass... No. Ghost does not resist Poison. Right? No, okay, cool. And I quad resist that, so you're doing nothing. Can I get the poison, though? Come on. Give me that poison. Yeah, boy! Pinhead for the win! Pinhead! You know, every time I say pinhead, I think of Cuphead. And I'm like, man, what the heck are the Cuphead games? Because I don't actually know. I don't know if I'd ever really want to touch them at the same time. I don't... Did I get... I didn't get hit by Astonish. I don't know what I got hit by there. I also think I'm going to... Ooh, learn it. Swift. Um, go ahead and get rid of Leer. I feel like this is a physical... Like, I feel like this is a really like good attacking game. Like, I can just attack most of the time. My Oddish has almost got up with the team. Alright. Let's use Elekid for a little bit. 
That's interesting. Looks like fireflies, kind of. Okay. Uh. Okay, can't seem to click on that. Can't seem to click on that. All right, good deal. Oh, this is the gym leader's room. Oh. Okay, um. I'm gonna give this Oddish an Orin Berry. There you go, Oddish. And then I'm gonna heal Beedrill real quick. There we go. Let's just hope that she, he, my bad, he, doesn't have anything crazy. All right, let's do it. Uh, let me see if I can get this, get this pose, kind of. There, I think I got it. Pray tell, who might you be? A trainer, possibly? I am the... I am Basil, Hard Wharf City's gym leader. As an ancient oak tree, my mind is peaceful and calm in every situation. Only one thing makes my rage erupt, getting interrupted while meditating. It'd be wise to not defy me when this happens, but what is done is done. Bring it on. He's another person you have to talk to twice. You guys know just those gym leaders. Sorry, his necklace threw me off. They remind me of the uh, Pokeballs in the um, in the Celebi movie that um, that Young Oak has, like very silver and metally. I think I just got critted by Morlul. Can we just like calm down, Morlul? It's not that serious. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go Fisher, way to go. Um, what? Um, why does he have a spirit tomb? Because spirit tombs are a grass type in this game? I guess? Man, what? What's going on there? Okay, I think it's still a ghost type. Uh, also, that astonished did a lot of damage. Okay, well, at least I answered back with another crit. I'm a little bit worried about that, though. Okay, that still shouldn't do a lot. How much that? Okay, I gotta heal because I'm pretty sure he's trying to uh, lure me into a false sense of confidence. So he can use Shadow Sneak, I think it. Yes, it. W yep, that was exactly what he's doing, getting me into Shadow Sneak range. I see you, Spirit Tomb. I'm watching you. Um, I also just realized that I'm pretty sure that. My poison thing isn't super effective on this thing. That's really annoying. But it's fine, he's on a time schedule now. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. You got the speed drill. Yeah, I was totally right, it's not super effective on him. Oh, this is his only other Pokemon. Eww. Well, that makes me a lot less worried. Um, I don't really want to sub out. Oh, and also you have potions still. All right, good to know. Good to know. That was probably the best time to hurt myself, though. If he would have shadow sneaked me at the same time, then I'm pretty sure I would have died. He's just a poison type if he's just grass poison. I mean, you're not 
I guess it could be like rock. Or is it ground? One of those two I'm pretty sure is just poison. I know neither one of them is just bug for some reason. I don't know, I'm very interested in the spirit tomb though. Wait, is it wait, hold on, hold on. Is the spirit tomb like an X species like Xenoverse Pokemon? Or is it um Or is it just a different form of the same mon? Like, cause that's kind of a confusing aspect to this game. Also, why does why do the X Pokemon only have multiple health bars whenever you fight them, but then like whenever you have them they don't have multiple health bars? Snap me like a twig. Alright. I get the point. I'm more invested in the story stuff, to be honest. Except this DM2, it's grass not the mighty grass type move. I'm pretty sure I can't really use it. User snares the foe with grass and trips it. The heavier it is, the greater the damage is. The battle today has shown me how far I am from my ideal destination. The utter steadfastness of the soul. I'm going to meditate now. But I will pray for the spirits to keep their eyes on your, your young journey, young trainer, young. Gym leaders will shake hearing your name. This is the whisper of the... Wait, what? This is what the voices of the woods whisper. Okay, sounds good. Um, cool. Lily's already on par level wise. And let's see. Yes, yeah, my Oddish can obviously learn Grass Knot. I think I'm just gonna pass on it though. Just kind of peace out of here. Uh, if I just, like, run over here and get in this, then the Trevenant will send me back, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, good disaster. Oh, Cloud. I thought for sure you would take in my advice, so how was the gym? You won? I knew. Wait, what? I knew it was... Gosh, man. The, the way they write, I feel like, messed with me. I knew it was an easy ride for you. By the way, I've been looking for you. I have to ask you a small favor. Some time ago, I gave the Xeno Balls enhancement task to one of my researchers, but he retired to Prox Proxima? Pro Pro mm, Proxima Island? Without updating me anymore. That's why I want you to go there. Check his progress, would you kindly? On the beach, you should find a good sailor willing to take you there. Uh, just tell just tell them I'm sending you there when you're done just join me at the lab uh, I know how to reward you properly and I feel like I have to read so much further ahead than what I should need to also I got healed after that uh, I'm also curious about this hey Google what level does Oddish evolve Alright, cool. So, it uh, sounds like uh, my Oddish will evolve at 21. Um, I'm going to pick up a few more Pokeballs and Potions, and maybe Super Potions if I can now. Uh, no. But regardless, I'll take some more Pokeballs. And I'll take five more Potions. Nice. I'm also curious about Sandy Gast, actually. Hold on. Uh, hey Google. Hey Google. What level does Sandy Gast evolve? No. Bro, Sandy Gast doesn't evolve till 42. Oh man, 
I bet all kids still evolves the same level of 30, so like that's still like not great or anything, but I guess like Lily's the only thing I really have to like look forward to right now. Man. I did not think Sandy Gas wasn't until 42. That's so late. Alright. Did you say you you have some business to attend to on Proxima Island for Aster? Aster? You've come to the right man. I would be happy to have some company after all this time. It goes away. We're setting sail, Pelipper. Oh, uh, what? No, say Pico. Come on, people would get the reference if they know Briny. We've hit land. Just tell me whenever you need to set sail again. Yeah, also the star use aren't static either, which is another interesting thing I found out. Yeah, it looks like they're on every beach, so like, I think I'm only gonna take the one and just leave the rest alone. There's a lot going on here on this, this place. Studying this rock, I found something very interesting. Here you go. Oh, cool. I will definitely take the star piece. Uh, traffic of hard work researchers, um, what do they want from this paradise? Ooh, okay, interesting. Is this a mossy stone? Oh, these are trainers. Okay, I was curious if they actually were. I guess it's good I switched Oddish out in front then. Yep, good experience time. I guess Sandy Gas would have been fine too, though. Since Sandy Gas has the water compaction ability, so like, you know, don't get hit by water type moves at all. I still find that like such a busted ability to have for a Sandy Ghast. Yeah, like there's in their action like they don't already have like really good stats, and then you give them a better ability. Just kind of wild. I guess this is not a terrible way to train. Uh, I ought to see if I can get a fishing rod here. See if I can get like a new encounter. Cause I should start exploring. All right, I took this Eevee with me and I couldn't help coming attached to this. Take this. I mean, I do like the move attract like a lot. I've seen like how useful it can be for like setup especially. Uh, I'll give it to my Oddish. Get rid of Sweetsin. I could actually set up Growth then if they can't attack me. Or if you combine that with like a uh, Stun Spore too. That would be like really sick. Exploration is the best way to play games. Let's see what's new. Okay. I'm taking a break from Neutron's campus life. Okay. Sun came to visit and I really don't know what to cook him. Okay. Um, I guess it's fair, like not every NPC is gonna give you useful information. All right, good to know. That's Sandy Gas, so I don't really need to fight it. Technology has made great strides in the last two decades. I mean, that's a fact, man. I can't even imagine how the 200s... <clears throat> More time. I can't even imagine how the 2000s really were. So I was too young to remember them all that well. I know I shouldn't slack off, but good training requires good rest, too. Facts. Like early two thousands, I I have like no like frame of mind. Is that what it is? Whatever. I can't imagine them. You have an orange berry. You do. I tip you. Sure. Let me get it off my oddish real quick, and I'll give it to you. I don't see why not. Uh, now all of a sudden she won't talk to me? Okay, let me see if I leave and come back. This is so weird, why would she not just like... What? All of a sudden she like just won't talk to me now? 
That's some BS. Island of Relaxation. Rem. Can't see we're making out. Uh, I think about... While kissing my boy, I think about Wallace Daddy. He's such a stud. Okay. I am uncomfortable. I am quite uncomfortable now. Okay, I'm assuming this little area will be something. Like, it feels very out of place. I'll dive? Nope, not ready yet. Okay. At least you didn't say I'll die. That would be bad. If you made me listen to music he likes, and it really got me bad, not gonna lie. Um, as we go listen to that lad's concert and get his autograph. Oh, okay, I get you. He really liked it. It got him bad. He's just like weird terminology, I think. Couldn't understand anything he was saying if only I didn't drop out. Oof. Excuse me, Aster wants news on my work. It's um, t -t 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 take this and go away. Ooh. Oh, it looks the exact same. That's kind of boring. That was an easy task. I didn't. Wait, what? I I didn't take too many holidays. I swear. Okay, sure. Whatever. Hey, let's go. It doesn't actually seem like there's much to this town. Uh, I was kind of hoping someone would give me a fishing rod, to be honest, since this was like looks like a really island-based place. But... Oh, I can't even go and get that item. Okay. Uh, let me see if that old lady will give me that fish- the fishing rod, or if I can get anything from her now. Kind of really annoying. She's like all of a sudden like, well, that's so annoying. Obviously, like, you're not gonna know immediately what the NPC wants. Like, if it's on a Pokemon, then, like, you should be able to give it to them, then. Alright, well. That's really annoying. And I apparently won't ever get to know what she would give me. And it's probably something, like, not that crazy, but... The completionist in me is now going to be upset forever. That I don't get to know what it is. Ooh. Hello, Corfish. Lily got this. Ooh, man, Lily's really got this. Okay. It's acid. Lily's male. So, I guess I have to watch it tracked a little bit. Because obviously, like, if it only works on females, then that's going to be a whole thing. Okay. Oh, uh, seems like I've explored everything. In reality, I think I got, like, an item and ATM. And then you just leave? Really weird. I would imagine like a little bit more here. All right, just wanted to check to see if you could have chosen who took you. Which obviously I was gonna choose a Briny, because as soon as I saw him, I'm like, oh, the Briny guy. Oh, gotta love Mr. Briny. Uh, let's see. glad I've been waiting for you. Did my researcher give you anything? Let me see. This is, is a simple Xeno Ball. That layabout did not make any enhancement. He's only squandering our money on his vacation. I'm gonna tell him off. Cloud, tell me, who did, who did take you? Who did take you? Okay, that makes sense. Who did, who took you would have made more sense. What'd you say Mr. Briny took you down there? Not you too, Cloud. That old man left us many years ago now. I'm gonna find another way to give that slacker the scolding he deserves. 
Anyway, I promise you a reward, so here you go. Poke West. Okay, it's like a glove thing. This invention will be available for purchase soon. It's one of the lucky testers. Basically, the glove device incorporates uh, all the necess necessities for trainers. Town map, Pokedex, achievements, and last but not least, our new HM service. Oh. Using a particular process, Pokemon uh, West creates holograms, the hollow Pokemon. They can devour rocks or cut down trees in your path, and there's more. You may also call actual Pokemon for help to fully explore the environment of the Eldwi region. It's not a coincidence that WES stands for Wide Exploration System. However, this specific process requires particular stones called H minerals I do not own right now. But I can tell for sure you're going to find them during your journey. I also updated your Pokedex, installing a dedicated Xenoverse uh, category. You'll be cataloging X Pokemon data in there, giving your support to the research. Speaking of which, here's some extra Xeno balls. Nice. Um, and this is all I want you to know. All I can do now is wish you the very best of luck. Okay, so that's what this whole... So, like... Okay. But I can already see the achievements, can't I? Hold on. Isn't... I can't. Okay, I, I thought I could see the achievements the whole time. Hold on. Well, my game crashed, apparently. Sue, so, I'm going to end off this episode. I'm going to make sure I get back to where I was before we start the next one. So, bye, guys!